First, I'll just start off by saying I'm really glad that a lot of you appreciate the videos I've been doing throughout the lockdown on how to quit porn addiction. I've had a lot of messages all over my social media of people saying thank you, please keep doing the video because I, I am aware and so are you that this is, you know, this is not something that you can probably solve in one video. I mean, you may, but it's an ongoing thing. Addiction is not an, it's not an easy thing to break. That shouldn't make anyone lose hope or encouragement because that means that when you do break it, you're gonna feel very happy, proud of yourself and satisfied. And I wouldn't make these videos if I didn't believe people could break their porn addictions and live the life that they want. Having done it myself many times and having helped so many people, it gives me great pleasure, uh, confidence and motivation to keep doing these videos. And I enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy the challenge of helping you guys. I also like developing myself as well because I'm a work in progress. So. I'm not above anyone and I'm not below anyone, but I definitely believe in myself having achieved what I've done so far and my failures and my challenges. So I'm gonna try a different approach today. Look, I am aware that not everyone's the same. And I know those videos, the coward videos I've done are very popular where I really let rip, you know, it's like a, it's not anger, but it's like a passion. And I call guys out and tell them not to be cowards. And I've had a lot of positive messages from those videos saying they've changed people's lives, but some people don't like that approach and I can understand. I'm a person where sometimes I like that approach. I like a mentor or a teacher to shout at me and, and to call me out on my BS. But sometimes that doesn't work for me. It makes me angry, it makes me feel ashamed or, or bad. So we're gonna try a different approach today to getting over your porn addiction. The first thing I'm gonna say is that you guys are not ugly and you are good enough to attract a woman. And I want all of you to attract a good relationship. All of you deserve it. All of you can get it. It's just, are you willing to put the work and the effort in? Which I think you are. I believe that I can, we can help each other to do it. So let's first start off by saying, hmm, does it, does it work when you keep telling someone that, hey, you should quit your porn addiction, you know? You're ruining your life. Or well, why are you doing that? Why are you watching porn for? That's disgusting, why are you doing that? For a lot of time that doesn't work because the person who's watching porn already knows that. <laughs> That's the, to state the obvious, they know what they're doing isn't good, isn't making them feel good. But it's hard for them to stop. And I've said in my other videos and I'll say it again, and there's a lot of reasons why it's hard for guys or anyone to give up porn. I know from my own battle with it, I'll be open and honest with everyone at the moment, I'm not having any problems with it. I've beat the addiction. That doesn't mean I can't though. Of course I'm not arrogant or overconfident now. Of course I could watch it again. I'm choosing not to. And if I do, I'll be honest and open and I would share it with you guys. But I really built up a strong tolerance and I'm feeling good about myself. And so anyway, I really wanna focus on this video about getting a relationship a meaningful, a proper relationship of a woman, right? Because I've always understood, I know for me, when I was watching porn, now it may be different for some people and please let me know because it's a two way thing, isn't it? If you guys don't explain to me your predicament, I'm not always gonna know. So I'm gonna presume, I could presume wrong with some of you, but I personally feel if you guys could get yourself a girlfriend or at least, um, start going out and being social and, and get a date, get a dating site going, do some online dating, or go to a social event. I know there's restrictions at the moment, but some places there's not. If you can get yourself actively being social and dating again, I really think you're gonna beat this porn addiction because sometimes we don't realize what we really need until we've got it. And I think relationships are so important. I'm not putting pressure on you, I'm not saying, oh, you've got to go out and get a girlfriend and get married and stuff like that. Obviously, I can't force you to do that. But it's trying to get you in the mindset that you are valuable. There is a woman out there for every single one of you that is waiting to date you right now and would really like you for who you are. But obviously, if you don't take it upon yourself to make those choices and take the, um, the action, then you're just going to be delaying that relationship. Because when I was really addicted to porn, which was just around the time before I made the Johnny Berber brand and, and broken out of um, depression and suicidal thinking and became successful, prior to that, I was really longing for a relationship. And um, I was feeling 
like a lot of guys feel, I was feeling a little bit embarrassed about not having a girlfriend and I felt a little bit, well, I felt very ashamed for wanting something that I didn't believe I could get and I felt I was pointing the finger at myself and judging myself for being in, in a predicament where I didn't have a girlfriend. I felt ashamed about that. I felt like this was something that you should have. But I later realized, no, you, it's not always true. You can't shame someone or shame yourself because you don't have something that is considered normal and expected. Because everyone's situation is different. Things happen. So you can't always look at the next person and go, well, he's got a girlfriend, so I should have a girlfriend. But you don't know what he's been through. You don't know how long it took you. He's, he's not you. You're in, a, you're in a completely different journey. But I think it would be wise to get your thinking in that direction because let, let's just get to truths. Why do we watch porn? Obviously for the release that we get, the longing of a real woman and the real intimacy. Obviously porn is not real intimacy. You know, when you, when you masturbate, it, it does feel good. Yeah, it, it feels good for uh, a couple of minutes or a second but then it doesn't feel good after, and then a long time after, right? Whereas when you have a proper relationship, and you have love and intimacy, it does feel great with a person that you love. It's, it's real, it's a real person who cares about you. Unfortunately, the videos on porn and, and the sites, that they can't uh, love you back and care about you because you're watching videos, right? So it's, it's kind of understanding it, but how could we move forward in a non-judgmental way? Could that be possible? I believe it is, I've done it. I'm doing it right now, so I'm not going to start um, saying to guys, why are you doing it? You shouldn't. I've said that before, but I don't feel like doing that approach today. It, it doesn't feel the right approach, and that's all what problem solving is about. Sometimes you push, you push someone hard, you, you might shout, you might call them out on their BS, but sometimes you hold back, you say, hang on a minute, be nicer, kinder, calmer, compassionate, and that might work very well. I believe you guys sensitive people. In, in a positive way, the same way I am, you care, you've got your emotional, good values. So let's work on doing this one day at a time. And sometimes it's got to get to a point, I know it did for me, where I watched pornography so much where it was so um, negative and it hurt me badly that I just decided to wash my hands of it and, and stop doing it. But it's a process which is why I've been making so many videos. If people wonder why is he doing so many videos on the same thing, it's because I need to do a lot of videos on this topic if I want to help guys to get out of it and share uh, my honest experience of getting out of it and getting a girlfriend. I can honestly say, whenever I have got a girlfriend or been dating someone, I've always completely stopped watching porn or it's been a hell of a lot less. Usually I've completely stopped it because I haven't needed to, to watch it because I'm getting that love and affection and that intimacy socially, romantically, psychologically. And I'm also giving back, which is what feels very good, right? It feels great to love. It, yeah, it feels great to be loved and it feels great to love. Where porn doesn't love you back and you don't really love porn, right? So, But we're not judging here. We're just um, talking openly and honestly about it. So some things that can really help are... I'd say taking your mind off of it with a positive distraction. Distraction in the sense of something that you can focus on throughout your day. There's many things, right? Sometimes it's going for a walk and getting a coffee or getting a tea, going out, meeting a friend. A lot of it, it comes down to taking action, taking practical action. For every action you take, you feel a bit better, gives you more confidence, self-esteem. Confidence and self-esteem gives you mental and emotional discipline. So I'm really want to encourage guys and inspire them in a positive way to, to go at their own pace and gradually let go of their porn addiction without judgment, without judging themselves. Don't worry about what other people think of what they're going to say because everyone has done, uh, has watched porn at some point or if they haven't watched porn, they've done other bad things. No one's perfect, right? So if people were judging you, then they're really judging themselves. Uh, I learned that about myself as well. It doesn't mean you can't be strict but you can break this addiction with compassion. Because I believe if we get into too much judging and shaming, it brings you into darkness because it's a toxic thing to do. You can be aware that you feel ashamed when you watch porn. Because I, I always felt ashamed when I watched it. I felt like I'd um, let myself down. But I also learned to um, forgive myself and rebuild myself back and get myself feeling good again. So it's motivation. Like, what's your motivation to quit porn? Is it to get a job? I would love to know because if we know what the motivation is, 
we've got the tools, we've got the um, direction to aim in to get off of this addiction and we can start building a positive habit. As you're letting go of a negative habit, you're building uh, the positive habit. So let me know guys, for me it was, this, was true. Getting a relationship with a girl made me feel really good about myself and I enjoy being in love, it's, I, I love it. You know, having someone, having someone to go out with. So I'm sure you guys want that and I'm here to tell you that you can get it. Because I did it, I didn't think I could, get, could do it. So if I could do it, I know you guys can do it and you know how many people I've helped over the years. Some people have got um, their fiance, their wife, their girlfriend, get you dating again, get your friendships. So I think getting over this addiction is about socializing more. It's about taking more action. It's about setting goals. It's about finding ways to enjoy your daily life, um, to make the most out of your day, but also being compassionate and forgiving. Because if you can actually, if you can be compassionate towards yourself um, and about your addiction, then you're already thinking in a more positive way. Whereas if you can't be compassionate to yourself and you're constantly just harming yourself mentally, then you're going to cause a lot more pain than necessary. So you can be strict on yourself. You can say, yeah, what I'm doing is wrong and I need to stop this, but you can do it in a loving manner. And then you can see if this works or not, if, the approach, if this approach works, because it does work for a lot of people, right? Um, what else is there? It's just taking one day at a time. You know, it's really focusing on the positive consequences of beating the addiction, not focusing on the negative. We, we know the negative consequences, right? But focus on the, the other direction, the direction that you want to go in, which is getting a girlfriend or being more social. Or maybe you've been waiting to set your project up, your business, or you've been waiting to go to university. I don't know what it is. But I know with every negative addiction, it has a positive opposite. It has the real thing that the person actually wants to do, that they're too scared to do because of obvious fears of being judged, rejected, hurt emotionally, fears of success. I believe that comes into play. Sometimes for guys, I know for me at periods of my life, the thought of taking on responsibility seems so overwhelming that I sabotage. I go, I'm, I'm game over, I'm, I'm gonna jump out of the game and I'm gonna dive into porn, I, I need some kind of um, defense, some um, escape, comfort zone. So when you gradually get inspired and excited about going in the positive direction, and when you get the results and you get that positive in experience and reinforcement, then you will, you will just stop watching it. And then you'll eventually get a girlfriend. All of you are good enough to get a girlfriend. Don't tell yourself you're ugly because you're not ugly. And you are good enough to get a girlfriend. If you keep working on yourself, you'll gain more confidence. So you can always build the confidence. If you don't feel good enough today, you can feel good enough by next week by you know, doing the self-help work, listening to motivational talks, you know, treating people better, doing positive things that make you feel good. You need to do a lot of things that make you feel good to override the negative feelings of not feeling good and then going to porn to get this high. Why, where can we go to get the high that's not porn? The high that's gonna be integral, honest, respectable, it's gonna reinforce confidence. Where can you go to get that? I'll leave that question uh, for you guys to solve, or girls who's watching this video. So this video is gonna, it's not like a final conclusion, this is just a continuation of my other videos. It's a perspective that really has helped me at many times. And I believe it's going to help you guys. It's a continuation. So this video will end with more um, a sequel and stuff like that, all right? So become fearless. Compassion, kindness, non-judgment with getting out of your porn addiction. I want you to get a relationship that's right for you and to take action, go towards your goals of what you want to do in your life, right? Become fearless. I'll see you next video.